I'm Dr. Iva Jenga, physician endocrinologist, uh, here with Ponea to talk about thyroid disorders. The thyroid is an endocrine grad. Endocrine, uh, the endocrine grad means it's a grad, a grad among many of the uh, grads in our body that produce hormones. It is treated in the uh, front aspect of your neck. It has two lobes and joined by uh, an isthmus. It is a, a, a grad that produces the hormones that have a lot of uh, functions in our body. It influences the, uh, what we call basometabolic rate, meaning it really is really key on every cell that has to use up and make energy for us to survive. If, when your grad is not functioning, or when any part of your body is not functioning, definitely the body will feel all the symptoms will come in form of a disease or uh, uh, a disorder. So the main uh, function of the thyroid is produces hormones called thyroxine, the, thi the thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormone is very important in making you uh, actually survive, even at the point of conception, point in utero when the baby is in, it, in the uterus and uh, the baby is born and even growth, both brain growth and the structural growth. So when that is not, uh, just having mentioned a, a, an outline of what it does, it will tell you if it is not functioning, what are the diseases you expect. So there's the disease of not uh, producing enough. It's called hypothyroidism. It's actually one of the, uh, the commoner type of thyroid disorders. Then there's a the disease of uh, it producing too much, and that is called hyperthyroidism. Then there are other rare diseases whereby you have a, a very swollen or enlarged the thyroid, which becomes a huge goiter, which is not even uh, not overproducing or underproducing, but because of the structure, it can cause obstruction in your neck, uh, rendering you having problems in swallowing or even breathing. And then that uh, swelling, uh, swollen uh, grad, which is called a goiter, sometimes can become cancerous. So. Those are the various types of diseases you get. But the commonest that we see is at the, at the functioning uh, thyroid, that is hypothyroidism. Let's start with the, the common one, which is the, the, uh, at the functioning thyroid. So an at the functioning thyroid, so it depends on your age. So let's say, let's talk about an adult. And it usually co happens uh, more commonly in women. So a woman with the at the functioning thyroid will most likely present with, uh, come to me and say, I've got this unexplained fatigue. I haven't overworked, but I just feel tired. I just want to sleep all the time, so excessive sleep. And then they say, I'm not eating much. I try to exercise, but I'm gaining weight and I can't control it. So there's excess weight gain, fatigue, and feeling sleepy. And then they notice that they're also uh, forgetful. So their memory, this memory is slowing, and some, somebody actually calls, calls it uh, brain fog. I feel like my brain is has just too much fog. I can't seem to separate issues in my head. So those, that, those are some of the common things. But other things, when it has been there for long, you start seeing it even on the body itself. I remember I told you that hormone is in, uh, very important for every cell of the body. So what happens to the skin? The skin starts drying up when you don't have enough thyroxine. So they come with what we call coarse, very dry skin. Then the hair becomes also coarse and dry and starts falling. So some people actually come with something we call alopecia or the hair falling. So those are some of the things that are visible. And then, of course, if you look, some, some of the patients will have uh, uh, that mass or that swelling in front of the neck, but not necessarily uh, with uh, hypothyroidism. You can have a normal thyroid uh, glad size, but it's not working well. For a woman also, what she will say is that, I have noticed also if she's within that uh, period when she's having her menses or her periods, she will say, I'm having prolonged periods and very heavy. So they might, because of that loss of blood, they might come with anemia. So the anemia might be contributing to the tiredness, even if the thyroid hormone is also contributing to the fatigue because of not being able to uh, provide the energy. Remember I told you it is the, is, uh, uh, the very necessary for what you call a basal metabolic rate, giving you energy every day. Another uh, presentation of uh, at the functioning thyroid is excessive cold. We call it cold intolerance, such that when uh, Yes, I'm dressed now for our winter. A hypothyroid patient will be dressed like this even at the hottest weather, like January. So because the, you are not producing enough heat, thyroxine, uh, the thyroid hormone, is necessary for you to be able to make heat in your body. Uh, I would like first to thank all of you, the, uh, the Ponea team, and also thank anybody who is listening to this, wherever you are, uh, whether you are patient or not, 
uh, to take this information, make yourself empowered to learn about the, this condition. Should you think that you have something in regard to this, it's important to, you can go on Ponea platforms, there's a, uh, an app for patients, you can get the information where you can get more uh, guided uh, as to where to book to health professionals that deal with this. We have many the specialist uh, endocrinologists, both for adults and for children as well. And we also have physicians who really also will be able to guide you, in, investigate you, and uh, treat you or refer you to the correct uh, uh, specialists.